Good afternoon. Thank you for joining me today at Follow Up the Turtle, Educate Yourself. My name is Kitty Barringer, and I work for the Brain Injury Association of North Carolina. Today, I'm going to talk about a subject that I have previously talked about some time ago, but I thought it was so important to revisit that I'm sharing it once again with you. First, on your left side, you will see a person whose brain is exposed. One side is white and one side is multicolored. These are the two hemispheres in your brain, and they communicate uh, about 1,000 times per second between the two hemispheres. So there's a lot going on upstairs in your head. First, I want to tell you that the brain weighs about three uh, pounds. And I've already told you that the hemispheres are communicating back and forth between each other. So um, someone recently, one of the researchers that I was looking at said that uh, often, the human brain has been called the most sophisticated organism in the universe. So that's what has been said by some people that are researching the brain and its function and the things that it can do. I want to tell you that um, we're going to break down each hemisphere into the different lobes. And the yellow uh, on the front of the brain in the right side of your screen is called the frontal lobe, the yellow part. And it is just over our eyebrows and goes back a little ways. This is also called, called the Center for Executive Functioning. So um, that being said, it helps you plan things, it helps you initiate things, organize, and just kind of keep going and living each day. It helps you kind of know what you're doing. So um, this area, if it's hurt, uh, can affect all those things. Uh, it may make you not unable to do a task, or it may uh, bother you trying to do several tasks. And um, it's it, you may not be able to plan things well or organize things and get things done for you. Um, when I was hurt, I think that um, I got hit in the rear of my head. But I think when I hit my head, my brain went forward and hit the skull in front of, of, of my head, and uh, which is also called contra coup. And I believe that uh, it affected my uh, ability to determine social appropriateness uh, because I was telling dirty jokes and I did not realize I had to keep clothes on. So um, I was a big problem for the nurses. And uh, I think that goes right into another thing that this area controls, and that's understanding the cause and effect. I didn't realize that what I was doing was causing people to leave or not come see me. So. That's, that's a big um, area to work with. The pink area that's located right behind the yellow area is more of around the crown of your head. This area is involved with the senses and uh, the sensations of hot and cold and pain and kind of where you are in, a, in your environment so that you're aware of things around you. Injuries here can cause problems with attention, awareness, 
and it can affect your um, senses, such as the, the hot. You might not realize something's hot, say washing your hands. The water is scalding hot, and you don't know it. So, um, or you can't feel it. Or um, you're trying to take a shower, and you get the water too hot, and you end up having burns and then having to take care of them. The third lobe I want to talk about is the purple lobe, and it's located around the temple of your head. It uh, it kind of goes around your ear. It's, it's located around your ear, and uh, that is a clue to you that an injury here would affect your hearing. It could um, affect your thinking and producing language. Uh, so sometimes people may hear something, but something in this area is affecting understanding what has been heard. Or you may be able to speak a question uh, and not be able to understand it when somebody else has asked you a question. You may not know what they're saying. This um, this can be a, a source of problems for stroke patients, especially. And with strokes, it's called aphasia. And it's very prevalent in stroke patients. And remember, strokes are a type of a non-traumatic brain injury. The fourth thing that I want to talk about the lobe is the blue part. And it's at the back of the head. And it's the occipital lobe. And it takes care of your vision. And your eyes see things upside down. And then they go into your hemispheres and get flipped around from left to, to right, right to left. And then they go on through the optical nerve, and that goes on into the brain. And then the uh, blue area kind of redoes everything, it seems like to me, that they re um, make things upright so that you see them where they are, and you see them uh, very crisp and sharp and the right color and the right distance and all these things. So that blue area takes care of all that stuff. And the little red area under the blue area is called the cerebellum. And that particular area is um, responsible for coordinating our balance. And one of the neat things I found out about this area is often called the tree of life because it has its own pattern of cells and it looks like a tree with the branches and leaves spreading out. This part of your brain enables you to learn to ride a bike. It enables you to drive a car play a piano, or do aerobic exercises. It really controls your balance and your movement as you uh, move around each day. Injuries here can cause problems with walking, of course, your balance as you're standing somewhere, your fine mo motor movements, uh, like reaching for a glass, you might reach for the glass and then jerk it back and hit yourself in the head. Uh, or you can't control pouring water in, into a glass. So uh, there's a lot of issues that this little area seems to affect. The, um, the last part is called the brainstem. That's the orange part. That is about two to three inches long. It controls your uh, breathing. It controls your heart rate. It controls your blood pressure. It's basic life functions. And it's not good to be hit here. 
it also controls your um, attention and your arousal, uh, how much you can stay awake or, or that you fall asleep. And sometimes if this uh, area has been hurt, uh, people will be in comas or semi-comatose. And some patients I have seen, I could be talking to them and they just kind of nod out as I'm talking to them. Um, so it, it may be that area or it may be another area. Uh, and uh, right here, I want to tell you that just because you get hit in a particular area does not mean that that's where that, that you're going to deal with injuries only involving that area because uh, the injuries can reverberate all through your brain to different areas. And so the brain's constantly trying to fix itself. Um, and that's why there's sometimes... It just seems to be so many problems. It's not just one place that you got hurt. Um, and that's what the therapy is about. The good news is the therapy, because they will help you uh, route uh, what an activity, the learning of an activity around the injured part, somewhat like a pothole and uh, teach other areas of your brain to take over whatever was initially hurt. And this is a, a nice fancy word called neuroplasticity. And it goes on from birth to death with or without a brain injury. And it's your brain readjusting to the circumstances that it finds itself in. So um, it's already doing that uh, before you ever start therapy. So that's kind of the premise for the therapy is to retrain another area. Um, so that's the end of that talk about the brain. And I hope that's helpful. There is a plethora of information online. So if you're really interested in some tidbit that I have said, go to your internet or your library and look up information on the brain so that you can learn more about your own brain. Uh, I will tell you, I do work for the Brain Injury Association of North Carolina, and we are here to help you. You do not have to walk this injury by yourself. You are not alone. Please call us at 1-919-833-9634. Or you can look us up online at www.vianc.net. At either place, you will find a person to talk to or educational information about the Brain Injury Association. So uh, please feel free to call us or go online and uh, hopefully we can help you as soon as possible. So take care, have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.